Good evening. The Prime Minister was insistent and sombre in the Commons today. The threat posed by coronavirus had left him no choice, he said, but to introduce a national lockdown in England. If the NHS were overwhelmed, he told MPs, doctors would have to decide who lives and who dies. It is a terrible choice I'm already on the brink of having to make. ITV News has been allowed inside the Royal Blackburn Hospital, where there are already more COVID patients now than at the peak back in April. Medics there fear that without urgent action and with local cases rising sharply, they could be forced to choose who to save. Well, Boris Johnson came under fire from all sides of the Commons today over his decision to enforce a lockdown across England. Senior Conservative backbenchers opposed the move, while the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, said there would be a higher human cost because of government delays. Here's our political editor, Robert Peston. Well, travel between England and Wales is to be banned during England's national lockdown. The Welsh First Minister, Mark Drakeford, made the announcement as he outlined new restrictions, which will come into effect when Wales' 17-day so-called fire break ends a week today. And our Wales correspondent, Ruth... Now, one of the main differences between the imminent lockdown in England and that of the spring is that schools will stay open. Unions have opposed the decision, while schools themselves are calling for more help from the government to make sure that pupils don't fall behind if the virus means that they have to isolate. John Ray has the story. And welcome back. The Hollywood star Johnny Depp attacked his ex-wife Amber Heard a dozen times, a High Court judge found today. That ruling came as the actor lost his libel case against the publishers of The Sun, which had called him a wife-beater. The judge said an article which claimed Depp had assaulted Heard was substantially true. Depp will appeal the ruling, which could have major ramifications for his career, as Juliet Bremner reports. In Turkey, a three-year-old girl has been rescued from the rubble three days after an earthquake hit the city of Izmir. The child's... The US presidential election campaign is in its final hours, with both candidates racing through crucial swing states. If the result is close, there is concern that it could be contested, delaying when the winner is actually known. As we'll hear from Emma Murphy in a moment, Joe Biden is focusing much of his energy on the battleground of Pennsylvania. But first, here's our international affairs editor, Raggy Omar, on President Trump's frantic final push for victory. The ultimate tall tale, a train driver in the Netherlands had a lucky escape when his metro carriage careered through the stop barrier of an elevated track. But marvel, and that's it for now. Tom's live from Washington at 10, but from me and all the team here right now, have a great evening. Bye-bye.